you probably heard this before, but in case you forgot, I want to remind you of something important. What got you here won't get you there, okay? To get something we've never had before, we've got to do something we've never done before, okay? Welcome to another episode of Monday Motivation with me, your host, Marcus. On today's episode, we're going to talk about going from average to two-thirds savage, okay? Now, what do I mean by savage, okay? The new Oxford Dictionary, the dictionary on iPhones, defines savage as of an animal or force of nature. You are a force of nature. Fierce, violent, and uncontrolled, okay? Okay. <sighs> Now, a lot of us, we have goals. We want to do something. We want to save money. We want to get a boyfriend, get a girlfriend. We want to get there, wherever our there is. Remember, what got us here will not get us there. All right, we got we to gotta change. All right. Now, life by itself is fierce, violent, and uncontrolled. Now, I say two-thirds savage because you got to be fierce. You got to be violent, but you can't be uncontrolled. You got to be, you got to control the ferocity and the violence. Now, why you, you have to be fierce? Because life's tough. You're going to have obstacles coming your way. Things that are going to say, hey, worst obstructions that are going to stop you from your goal. There's going to be a guy you want to date that's like cancels on your girl. At one day that says, I don't want to, I don't want to hang out with you. Or, or you, you pass out a whole bunch of resumes and no one gets back to you. Those are the obstructions in your path. You got to say to yourself, you know what, in 2021, I'm sick of all this time passing. I'm getting what I want and I'm going to find a way to get it. Now that is that, that's the mindset of the two thirds savage saying, we going to find a way to win. It doesn't even matter. It don't matter what, what comes in front of us. We're, we're going to win. But a lot of us, you know, we're just averaging how we're thinking. Now what do I mean by average, all right? A quote that I like goes, average people just want to, slide by in life, okay? They just want to do just enough. They do just enough that they don't get fired and the employer pays them just, just enough they don't quit. Okay, they slide by. Good people want to be challenged. They say, you know what? I want this thing. Time's going to go by quickly. I'm going after it. And great people want to hear the truth and they want to hear it every single day, okay? <laughs> to be average is the opposite of fierce. It's very um, just relaxed and, and instead of violent, it's passive. It's just like, you know what? I'm just going to see what comes. But remember, we got to remember life is going to punch us in the face, throw us winds and gales that we don't even expect or see. This is why we got to attack back, okay? We've got to go after our goal, whatever, it, whatever the case may be. Let's say you're like, you know what? I just want new friends this year and I can't find new friends. Like COVID's punching me in the face. Um, there's no one in my town or neighborhood that I like. You know, you gotta, you gotta figure it out. Like we, we have to find a way. We all have problems and we all have our own ways of doing with them. But I think of being this two thirds savage, probably never heard of that before. I literally made that up. Um, being fierce and violent, but not uncontrolled. We have to have a lot of self-control. We gotta control the force of nature. And we're all forces of nature, right? For whatever your there is, okay? We got to focus and concentrate on the task with intensity and a sense of urgency that we can make this happen, all right? That we don't have to be average and be just like most people are going to not get what they want in life and slide by, all right? <laughs> Ask yourself today on this Monday while you're at work, did you slide by today? Did you just do just enough? Are you doing the extra? A lot of us want extraordinary lives, but we're not willing to do that extra, that that run that extra mile. Everybody's running five laps. You and the person who's going to have an extraordinary life is going to run six. Are you willing to run that six lap? All right. A lot of us are unhappy and we're not good at what we really want. We don't realize that the clock is like this. The clock is constantly moving forward, constantly moving forward. The same way we got to be constantly moving forward. Okay. Let's make a decision this year that this year is going to be unlike any year we ever had in our life. And we can choose that in our mind by being fierce, violent, and in un control. Remember, two thirds savage about what we want. A lot of times, all we want is waiting for us, but we gotta, we gotta change as people. We can't, you, we can't stay the same. All right, now I'll, I'll say this too, just to kind of get those engines revving. That yes, I'll admit, change is difficult. It's hard to go from, you know what, I'm gonna stop eating so much sugar this year and fat and all these bad things that are bad for me, and changing my diet. I've literally been there trying to change my diet. I'm talking about in future videos about things I've learned. I'm not a I'm not a dietitian or anything like that, but things I've learned that'll help me to have more energy to get stuff done in terms of food. But whatever the change may be, yes, the change is difficult, but as hard as the pain of change is, the pain of not changing is even more difficult. That pain of regret saying, oh man, what would have happened if I had changed? What would have happened if I'd actually gone after what I want instead of what I think I can get? Okay, so I just want to 
help us to think about that on this beautiful Monday, okay? Because we can't do it. We, we put our minds to it, but we can't, we can't stay the same. What got us here will not get us there. Okay, let's, let's keep that thought in mind, okay? And in closing, all right? We got to go from average to th two-thirds savage this year, okay? I'm not saying be a total savage. A lot of people, when they think of savage, think of a brute or like a caveman. And I think that too. But I think being fierce and violent in the correct terms, in terms of like we got to be, we got to have a intensity about us that is different and that separates a distinctiveness that's like, you know what? Like there's something about it that's just different. Something about that girl is just, whoa, like, you got to be an unstoppable force pretty much. And a lot of us, we've done this at some point or time in our lives, but we don't do it all the time, all right? It's easy to be passive and relaxed, the opposite of fierce and violent. But if it means that much to us, we'll find a way to make it happen. I've seen this in my life, and I've seen it in other people's lives. Um, so if you enjoy this video, please share with your friends and family. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday on my respective channels. Um, and as always, unsuccessful people make decisions based on their current situations and successful people make decisions based on where they want to be. Let's make the let's take the mental next step up of going from average to two thirds savage trading in leeway and laxity for accuracy, precision and definiteness of like in terms of what we want. All right. Because a lot of times what we want is waiting for us, but we have to change. Life is a mirror. When we change what we present to the mirror, we get what we, we, we reflect what we give to that mirror. And I'm gonna have to talk about this in a future video, but you can do this despite the thoughts, the doubts you have in your head, okay? And I also tell you this, self-doubt is the number one enemy to uh, success in your life, okay? This is Jesse Isler who said this. Um, he's a famous entrepreneur, but have a good Monday and have a good weekend. Remember, go from average to savage this week. Be different, bye.